coincidentally, today is also Steve Wynn's 76th birthday. Back mm. to you. All right, Miguel Marquez, thank you so much in Las Vegas. Appreciate it. All right, let's discuss these allegations, uh, accusations against Steve Wynn and uh, the big developments involving the special counsel and the Russia investigation with my next guest, Congressman John Garamendi, is a Democratic representative from California. Uh, he's also a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Uh, good to see you again. All right, so before we uh, get to the Steve Wynn accusations, let me ask you about your reaction to the reports that uh, President Trump tried to fire special counsel Robert Mueller last June, and the only thing that apparently stopped him from doing so was the White House counsel, Don McGahn, who said he would quit. Well, I'm not surprised. There has been uh, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of talk over the last several months that this was going on. Now we have the facts, and that's why we really have to protect Mueller. Uh, and also, I'm very, very discouraged and very upset by my uh, Republican colleagues, both in the House and the Senate, who seem to be doing everything they possibly can to discredit not only Mueller, but the FBI and all of the intelligence agencies. And the question we have to ask ourselves is, what do they know? What is it that they fear that they want to uh, somehow put this entire invest investigation aside? Bottom line, it has to go forward. The rule of law in this nation is absolutely essential. And whoever, Republicans or otherwise, the president, that are trying to derail this investigation, they ought to stop because it's extraordinarily damaging to this nation now and into the future. And so now as a result, uh, you and your fellow Democrats are, you know, attempting to revive legislation right. to protect Mueller uh, and his exactly. team. Um, you'll need the support of some Republicans, won't you, in order to make this work? Uh, do you believe that at some point Republicans will be on board to um, help cement a, a, the passage of a bill that would protect uh, the special counsel? Well, first of all, why in the world do we have to protect the special counsel. Well, the reason is the president is attacking the, uh, the investigation, the counsel, the FBI, going after the uh, now Robin, uh, Ruben, Ruben, sorry, Rosenstein, uh, the uh, deputy at the Justice Department. Mm -hmm. All of this is going on. So, yes, we do have to protect the special counsel. And as I just said, many of the Republicans in the House and the Senate are also uh, in this party of attack to discredit. We need to make sure that the rule of law is in place, that the investigation goes forward, let it play itself out, whatever may come of it, okay, let's just find out. But right now, this entire attack by the President, by the White House, and by Republicans in Congress really must stop. Therefore, yes, we do need legislation. Bottom line, the Republicans control the Congress, and they control the White House. Uh, and therefore, it's going to be difficult, but we've got to make it clear that the rule of law is fundamental in this nation. Is it your feeling that the president's attempt to remove Bob Mueller um, is evidence of obstruction of justice? It's looking like that, isn't it? It's looking like that. You go back through all of it. Comey gets fired. An attempt just a couple of months, well, one month into the Mueller invest, uh, period as a special counsel. Major attempt by the president to fire Mueller only stopped because the uh, White House counsel said, no, I won't do it, and if you force me to do it, I'm going to resign. And so that didn't happen, but nonetheless, there was obviously a very significant push by the president to do that. And then they shifted gears, and there's some evidence, not evidence, there's clear evidence that the uh, White House then shifted into a different mode, which was to discredit the entire operation, and they undertook what is now seven months' effort to lead to the discrediting of the entire investigation, not only the intelligence community, but also uh, the uh, FBI and, uh, and Mueller himself. And so that's been underway, and joining in members of the Republican, members of Congress, and the Senate. It is very, very disturbing because it is a direct attack on what is fundamental in our nation, and that is there is no one, myself, president, anybody, who is above the law. Let me ask you now uh, about these new sexual misconduct allegations against Las Vegas casino mogul, you know, Steve Wynn, who also is the RNC finance chairman. Should he step down? Uh, should the RNC be returning any uh, donated money from him? Well, obviously, 
what happens in Vegas is not staying in Vegas. Uh, this is a, a major, a major new development, uh, and we'll see how it plays out. Uh, as it does play out, uh, if it proves that there is uh, more than just uh, an unhappy uh, divorcee, uh, then we'll see where it goes. And in that case, uh, there's going to be a lot of money returned. That certainly happened with the Weinstein situation. Uh, and uh, if this plays itself out, we're, what, we're less than one day into this whole thing. As it plays itself out, uh, I think we'll find there's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of questions raised about who's received money from Steve Wynn. Uh, we're not there yet. But uh, uh, we're headed down a, a path, and so I suppose all uh, anybody that goes to Vegas, be aware that it may not stay in Vegas. <laughs> all right, Congressman John Garamendi, thanks for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good to see you. All right, coming up, lawmakers on Capitol Hill uh, turning their eyes to the sexual abuse scandal involving Olympic doctor Larry.